So many videos go into how to use MIDI, but not many videos go into what MIDI is from a protocol standpoint. So we're going to start from the physical side, walk you through the electrical side, and show you some tips on how to debug it when you're, say, using this with like an Arduino. So all MIDI is is a DIN5 connector with the DX being the MIDI out and the RX being the MIDI in. It's a unidirectional protocol, and so it's and it all is is two wires and one shield, which is connected to the ground on the receiving side. So electrically, all MIDI is is a UART signal at 31,250 baud. And a few intriguing things about the electrical circuit is there's an optocoupler. And all an optocoupler is is from the TX side, it's controlling an LED. And on the receiving side, there is a photosensitive transistor and when the transistor goes low it pulls the signal on the receiving side to ground and with this optocoupler it allows the two devices to be uh, isolated from one another other intriguing things is that this uart signal is not being pulled high and low it's just being pulled low the signal comes in from the five volts here goes over the led and gets when there's a signal it'll be pulled low from the tx side so the mini structure there is one status byte and then two data bytes and the status byte has to start with one and the data bytes have to start with a zero and inside this status message you will define what the message is and what channel it's on there can be up to 16 channels and the channel defines what the device is and this is important because certain devices will be looking for a specific channel to do specific things. And the data is completely dependent on what the status is, what the status of the message is. So a common message would be the no on message defined by 1001 and the channel right after that, 0010. So a hex of 0x net 2. And we have the note C4, which is defined by the first data one and the pressure, which is defined by this, the second piece of data. So things that deviate from this pattern are the MIDI running status. So if the status hasn't changed, what you can do is you can just keep setting just the data bytes. And this is useful to increase the amount of messages you can send because you can decrease your message structure size by one byte, which is a lot when it's only three bytes long. You just have to have two bytes. Some only have one. And the other type of messages that deviate this from this is the MIDI system messages. And MIDI system messages are different because they are not channel specific, but they go to all the devices that you can interconnect. And because of this, they don't need the channel bits in the message. So here's an example of a MIDI message where it's the first four bytes are high, and then you have your message defined in these X spaces. All right, so now that you know how the protocol works, you're gonna probably want some tools to actually verify that it's working. And a great tool to do that is with a program called MIDI Snoop. Now, MIDI Snoop is a Lynx program which allows you to see the messages in real time that are coming down the pipe. So once you select your device, you can now just play your notes and you'll see the status over on the left and the channel. And on the right, you can see your data. So you can see that on the right, there's your note and then the velocity and how hard you're hitting it. I've also added just the scroll wheel for the, for the volume. So now we're gonna transition to what this would actually look on the scope. So this is going to be Salesonic's Logic, and this is a capture handle from a little while ago. And as you can see, we have a node on on channel one with a node of zero B, whatever that is, and an intensity of sec 70. And, and as you can see, it's just a standard UART signal at a specific VOD, stop it, start it. And that's basically it. 